the opening and closing balance we don't consider now so we will not consider the opening balance it is 12,000 remember we have done working note now these are the expenses we have personal purchase of medicine yes we have to take as I told you opening plus purchase minus income minus expenditure are called as your professional income now this will be your professional A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here, lecturing with Yashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session of your topic called Income Tax 1 and Session 3. In the Session 3, we are discussing one complete problem on profession. In the previous session, we done with your profession topic along with I explained you all three formats. In the session 1, I explained you format and session 2, I explained the medical practitioner format along with one complete problem. Now, in today's session, what we are going to do? Very simple, we will work out one medical practitioner with more adjustment, with more adjustment so that you will understand better. The agenda is very simple, like we have concept as well as we have problems. So in this, what we have, like we will understand the concept also and we work out the problem also. So as per this particular amount and particular amount, we have these are the informations. As I told you, the opening as well as closing balance, we don't consider. The opening and closing balance we don't consider. Now, so we will not consider the opening balance and we will not take the closing balance also. So, the opening balance we will not consider. Closing balance it is not there. So, we need not to consider. Now, after this income which are related to profession we are supposed to take. If those are not related to profession we are not supposed to take now your opening balance yes don't take consultation fees part of your profession visiting fees part of your profession sale of medicine part of your profession and gift from patient yes again it is a part of your profession gift from relatives no as i told you only gift from clients can be part of your profession then life insurance it is again your personal so you made some insurance after 10 years or 15 years you will get back your money that is not part of your profession interest on government security again it is out of your profession then dividend from indian company also not part of your profession now after this we have expenses salary to stop yes donation we have to check later you can decide if donation paid for medical association, take. If the donation paid for other than medical association, please don't take. Now, rent of dispensary, yes. Cost of medicine, yes. Household expenses, no. Membership fees, you have to check whether membership for professional or personal. We'll get to know later. Purchase of car only depreciation, personal expenditure no, surgical equipment only depreciation. If you find any fixed asset, we go for depreciation, we don't go for complete value. Now, car expenses yes, municipal it is personal, stationary yes, personal drawings no, income tax no, sundry expenses yes, small small expenses like your auto fare, bus fare, small, you have done, you have consumed some juice. All these small, small petty expenses, we call it as sundry expenses. Then, life insurance, personal purchase of medicine, yes, we have to take. As I told you, opening plus purchase minus closing, exactly. Now, I'll go to adjustment in this. Rent of shop includes 2000. Paid. I'll go back to rent 
what is the rent actually rent of dispensary 8000 minus 2000 it will become 6000 because 2000 spent for personal 2000 spent for personal hope you are clear yes now next adjustment is closing stock of medicine 1000 opening stock of medicine 8000 take 8000 opening stock add purchases if there are any purchases we are supposed to add we'll see is there any purchases yes last one 5000 is the purchase now add 5000 less closing stock your closing stock will be minus how much you have closing stock we'll check the closing stock here is in the adjustment they have given closing stock is around 1000 now minus 1000 8 plus 5 13000 13 minus 1 it will be 12000 wherever you write your medical uh, purchase or medical balance you have to write what medicine balance you should write 12000 opening plus purchases minus closing clear yes now cost of medicine directly we take so these are the things we are supposed to do adjustment your medicine is over one fifth car expense are related to personal same procedure one by five in the sense five minus one it must be how much four five minus one it must be four now how to consider whatever your car expenses are there depreciation are there you should take only four by five you should take how much four by five now municipal taxes are paid in respect municipal tax always paid for what personal depreciation on car 4500 surgical equipment this has to be taken full but this one four by five clear yes and no information about donation so please consider it is part of your profession no information about your membership fees somewhere it was so if there is no information yes it is a part of your profession clear yes i'll go to answer now first one professional professional income professional income under professional income what are the income which considered as professional income like we have like in this consultation fees visiting fees sale of medicine gift from patient one two three four total we have four incomes related to profession consultation fees twenty five thousand consultation 25,000 after consultation I'll go back we have visiting fees of 32 visiting fees visiting fees of 32,000 after this what we have we have sale of medicine 50,000 sale of medicine 50,000 sale of medicine 50,000 next after this gift from patients 10,000 gift from patient so it is 10 thousand these are the incomes actual you have now we are supposed to what deduct all the expenses like so your expenses are professional expenses your professional expenses are what like 
uh, whatever the salary paid, rent paid, depreciation, everything we should consider one by one. We'll go for that. Your professional expenses are like salary to staff, 15,000. I'll use some shortcuts here. Salary, 15,000. We have donation 1500 donation. We assume that it is paid for profession 1500 and we have rent of dispensary 8 but in adjustment we have 2000 for residential minus the 2000 takes 6000. See rent of shop 2000 paid for resident remove the 2000 rent rent 8000 minus 2000 we should consider 6000 it is over what is the next one after rent cost of medicine 25000 cost of medicine 25000 then after this, we have membership fees, 1000. Membership fees, membership fees, how much it is? Around 2000. I'll cross check once. Membership fees is 1000. I'll change it to 1000. Membership fees, it is 1000. Up to this, we have done, we'll do continuation. After membership fees, we have purchase of car, we go for only depreciation. And we have personal, we will not take surgical equipment, again it is depreciation. So depreciation on car 4500 into 4 by 5. Depreciation on car 4500 multiplied with 4 by 5. How much we should take? 3600. If you do this calculation, you will get 4500 into 4 divided by 5. I got 3600. After this, what is the next one? Surgical equipment. Surgical equipment. How much we have? As per the question, we have 7500. We don't do any further calculation because completely used for your medical. Surgical equipment cannot be used for personal. 100% it is for medical. Now, I'll go back to your question. Municipal tax, it is personal like your surgical equipment over car expenses 22. Wherever you find car expenses, it must be 4 by 5. Car expenses, car expenses, 22,000 into 4 by 5. If you do this calculation, 22,000 into 4 divided by 5, I got 17,600. After this, after car expenses, we have municipal tax, we will not take. We have stationery of 3000. We have stationery of 3000. Hope you are clear. Yes. Next. After stationery, we have personal drawing. We will not take. Income tax will not come. Sundry expenses 3500. Sundry expenses. S U N D R Y. So how much it is? 3,500. I'll check amount once again. Yes, it is 3,500. Uh, can we take life insurance? No. Can we take purchase of medicine? Yes. How we can take? I'll show you. Your purchase of medicine. We have already done all the calculation. Opening, it is 8,000. Closing, 1,000. Purchase, 5,000. Final value is how much? 12,000. Purchase of medicine. Purchase of medicine. 
it is 12,000. Remember, we have done working note. Now, these are the expenses we have. We done with income and we done with expenditure. Just I'll cross check what is my income. 25,000 plus 32,000 plus 50,000 plus 10,000. I got income of 1,17,000. 1,17,000. What are your expenditure? I'll go for that. 15,000 plus 1,500 plus 6,000 plus 25,000 plus 1,000 plus. Yes, it is done. Then we have 3600 and 7500, 17600, 3000, 3500, 12000. How much I got? 95700. I'll cross check once. So we got 25. Yes. I'll cross check once. 15,000 plus 1500 plus 6000 plus 25,000 plus 1000. And we have 3600 plus 7500 plus 17600, 3000 and 3500 and 12,000. Yes, I got 95. 700. So what is the next procedure? You know what is your income? 1,17,000 and you know that what is your expenditure? What will be your final answer? Income minus expenditure 21,300 is your professional income. Hope you are clear. Income minus expenditure are called as your professional income. Now this will be your professional income. Hope you are clear. These are your professional income. So these all about your profession like medical practitioner answer. I'll go back to all these slides so that you can take screenshot. So this is your question with adjustments. The answer part one. Answer part two. So this is all about your today's session. Please work out this problem without fail. Thank you.